Hello, this is an educational video on how to calculate different species diversity calculations. We'll be going over species richness, proportion of species, Shannon index, and species evenness. So first off, what is species diversity? Species diversity is one element of the bigger concept of biodiversity. Species diversity is a mixture of different species present in a given ecological community, and it includes both species richness and species evenness. Species diversity, when it's measured, it's measured by the number of species and the proportion of each species in the community. So we will be looking at the different species diversity calculations, and I'm going to show you an example in our the example I have for you is a study of species abundances of fish in the community of the coral reef habitats. And since there's an abundance of different species, it's a good community to look at. So we have here in our table the different species of fish and how many there are in the community. And our first calculation is species, species richness, which is basically just the number of species in that community, which our species richness would be four for this community. So for species one, to find the proportion, we would take the number of individuals of species one, which would be 15, And then we would divide that by the total number of species, which is 150. And then we would get our proportion of species 1, which if you calculated that out, you'll get 0 0.1. So 0. Point one would be our proportion of species one. To another calculation, like we could calculate these for each of the species, so we're just going to do one more. So we're going to calculate the proportion of species three. To do the same thing, you just you take the number of species three that's present in the community and which is 55 and then you're going to divide that by the total number again which is 150 and then you will get your proportion for species three so if you calculate that out We're going to get 0.37, and that will be your portion of species 3. It gets a little more complicated when you get to Shannon index, which incorporates both species richness and species evenness into a single measure of species diversity. And our formula for Shannon index is right here. And it's represented by the letter H. And what you do is you calculate um, all of the proportions for each of the species. And you input it into the formula. And then once you get each of the Shannon index calculations for each of the species, you add them all up. So once you plug in each of the proportion of species into your Shannon index formula, you will take the sum of each of all those numbers, each of all your proportions plugged into the calculation. Once you sum those up, you will get your Shannon index, 
of 1.3. If you don't completely understand how I got to that, you basically just plug in for species 1, our proportion is 0.1, so you take the natural log of 0.1 and then multiply it by 0.1, and then you do that for species 2, 3, and then 4 and then each number you get, you add them all together, and the sum of that will be your Shannon index of 1.3. Next, our next calculation is our species evenness, which is represented by letter J, and it's our Shannon index divided by our H max, which is the natural log of our species richness. So to get that, we will take our Shannon index we just calculated, and we will put it over here. A Shannon index of 1.3. Then we will divide it by our H max, but we have to calculate that first. So over here, our H max, which we're just gonna it is going to equal right here. This is our formula. To get the, our H max, we take our species richness, which is 4. We just take the natural log of that, which is going to be 1.4. So the natural log of 4 is 1.4. And then we could plug that into our species evenness calculation See, and then we calculate that out to be 0.93 for our species evenness And that is all I have on species diversity calculations. I hope this helped somewhat to understand the math behind all of this. And thank you for watching.